Overclockers, Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl is set to release on the 20th of November, but is your PC up to the task? Keep watching to find out if your rig can handle the huge and immersive world of Chernobyl. Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl promises an immersive experience with breathtaking visuals thanks to its use of Unreal Engine 5 with motion capture and photogrammetry technologies. And I must say the graphics do look very realistic. Some of the screenshots and gameplay clips are incredibly immersive. You've got these varied biomes with dense vegetation and detailed infrastructure all ready for you to explore. You play as a stalker in this highly detailed open world that changes based on your actions and decisions. The gameplay actually features elements of a first-person shooter, immersive sim and horror. You can experience everything from intense firefights to survival mechanics and stealthy exploration all the way to a gripping story with over three hours of cutscenes that pulls you deeper into the mystery of the zone. With advanced AI behaviours, realistic weather conditions and a rich atmospheric setting, you will feel all the griefs of trying to get by in a dangerous world where mutants and deadly anomalies won't be the only obstacles on your path. So Stalker 2 joins a growing list of new games that use the brand new Unreal Engine 5. There's no debating its impressive graphics, but that stunning immersion comes at a cost. High-end PC requirements. So let's dive in into what you need to play. Kicking things off with the minimum spec list, which is what you'll need to get the game running on basic settings, probably at around 720p and low graphics. CPU-wise, you need an AMD Ryzen 5 1600X or Intel Core i5 7600K paired with 8GB of memory. For graphics, the VRAM requirements appear to be pretty high, so you need at least an AMD Radeon RX 580 8GB or NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 6GB. You'll also need 150GB of available storage space with an SSD listed as a requirement. This list does seem quite demanding for a minimum spec list, but also no surprise as Unreal Engine is known to be challenging to run. However, you should still get a playable experience on this older hardware, but you're just not going to enjoy all the graphical details and smooth performance that Stalker 2 has to offer. For all that, at a high resolution and refresh rate, you're going to need to invest in your PC hardware. Have at least an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X or Intel Core i7-9700K processor with 16GB of memory. You'll also need an AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT 8GB or GeForce RTX 2070 Super 8GB. Surprisingly, the 10-year-old GTX 1080 Ti 11GB is also listed, likely due to that high amount of VRAM. You'll still need 150GB of available storage space with an SSD of requirement here as well. There's no performance listed for this hardware, but I reckon it's going to be ideal for playing the game at 1080p or even 1440p with high settings. Of course, better hardware means you'll be able to crank the graphic settings and make the most of higher frame rates, better visuals, and the more detailed environments that Unreal Engine 5 has to offer. The biggest benefits will come from a more powerful GPU, so make sure you focus any money for upgrades on this important component and keep watching to find out which one to go for. So how much will it cost for a PC to play Stalker 2 part of Chernobyl? For playing at 1080p, I'd recommend the OCK Gaming Quartz. Comes with a 12400F and RTX 4060, priced at just £850. This PC includes 16GB of memory and should provide smooth gameplay at medium to high settings. The one terabyte SSD ensures quick load times with storage for Stalker 2 and more. The 12400F is a reliable mid-range processor that offers good price to performance for gaming and multitasking when paired with the RTX 4060. 
making it ideal for gamers who are on a budget. The quartz is also housed in a sleek white case that offers good airflow to keep your components running smoothly while you're playing Stalker. Best of all, it's part of our pre-built range, so it's in stock and ready to ship next day. Want a more powerful pre-built option? The OCK Gaming Mac 3 offers incredible value for money. With the Ryzen 5700X 3D and RTX 4070 Super priced at just 1299. The powerful GPU ensures fantastic performance at 1080p or 1440p with high graphic settings and a high refresh rate. There's 32 gigabytes of memory and a fast Gen 4 NVMe SSD, and this PC is gonna handle the demands of Stalker 2 with ease, providing an immersive and detailed gaming experience. The Ryzen 5700X 3D is an eight core, 16 thread processor with excellent gaming performance thanks to its 3D V-Cache technology. Meanwhile, the RTX 4070 Super is a powerful GPU that can handle high settings and also supports features such as DLSS and ray tracing. Finally, the Mac 3 is a powered by MSI PC, meaning it benefits from matching MSI components to enhance compatibility and maximize performance. Want to max out Stalker 2 and play at 4K? You're going to need a high-end PC such as the Infinite Venomous. The eerie green glowing aesthetic is perfect for a game set in the heart of Chernobyl, but you can of course also customize it to match your setup. With an i7 14700K and RTX 4080 Super, all custom water-cooled and installed in a high-end height case, this is a dream PC for any gamer. You can customize the components further, but by default, this PC comes with 32 gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte SN850X storage drive. This PC is designed for those who want nothing but the best and are ready to experience Stalker 2 in all of its glory, priced at 5299. If you're lucky enough to already have a pretty decent PC and just need a GPU upgrade, I recommend checking out the RTX 4070 Super priced around £550 or the RX 7700 XT priced around £400. These GPUs will allow you to enjoy the game at higher settings and resolutions. The RTX 4070 Super offers excellent performance for high and ultra settings in all the modern titles, while the RX 7700 XT provides a more affordable option with great price to performance. Both GPUs are equipped with advanced features such as ray tracing and DLSS, which can enhance your gaming experience and provide smooth gameplay in games like Stalker 2. Let me know in the comments below if you'll need to upgrade your PC to play Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl. And remember to subscribe to catch our upcoming episodes evaluating the PC hardware requirements of some of 2024's biggest upcoming games. Of course, make sure to check out one of our previous episodes as well about Dragon Age Veilguard and like, subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next one.